Good morning, everyone. I heard a couple of people had some confusion about the next step, so I'm going to do my best to explain it. At this point, you should be at your first layer, and you should have done the drop-in shadow. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start a second layer of shapes, okay? Now this is where people get confused, so I want you to really look. When I start a shape, I'm going to imagine where it would continue through and pick up the shape and let's say it goes underneath another shape, I dot, 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 I imagine where it would go through and redraw it. And then let's say you can't see it here, but it would pick up again right here. And I would connect it back. So you can see where this first shape now goes under all these other shapes in the layer. And so now I'm gonna start that again for the next series of shapes for my layer two. So I start and stop. I imagine where it would begin, pick up again. I would start, stop. Let's say the rest of it wouldn't finish over here. See, that doesn't look that good to me, so I'm going to adjust that. Okay, maybe I wouldn't see the end of it behind here. That's okay. If you go over the first layer, you just redraw it and then lightly uh, go back in and then just shade the lower area. So I found that people who are having a hard time with, with the idea of the new shapes behind, Watch where it starts, it, imagine where it would continue underneath the first layer, and then continue your line that way. So I'm gonna do another shape right here, right? It starts and stops by this empty white space, then I pick it up again, imagine where it would naturally go. I pick it up again, and then I'm gonna have it come this way. I imagine where would it start again, Okay, and just like with the first layer, remember how I said to, to keep your spacing in between your shapes really thin, right? Well, here I tried to keep my shapes really close together and keep the spaces really thin. So I'm going to start, stop, start, stop. Maybe I start another shape that goes over here and start, stops. Maybe I have another shape that just starts right here which you can have floating shapes as long as it doesn't confuse you. As soon as you've done that start stop and you can see where this object starts, stops, starts again, it picks up, it continues behind your first layer. As soon as you can see all of that and there is no confusion about where it stops and starts and actually look, it would probably start stop right here in the corner. As soon as you have that, then now you may start with your second layer, which I'm only gonna show you on one piece. Now this time, a blending tool on its own is not going to be enough, okay? Um, your first layer of shadow was at number one white-gray, so the next drop in shadow in all of the next lower objects would be like a number two. And again, I'm going kind of messy because I want to make this quick for you. And then what you would do is you would go into the second layer of shapes and you would drop that shadow down and in a little bit more. And if I accidentally overlayer, like oops, I overlayered my shading, you know, I would go back with my eraser to erase the first layer because the first layer is going to stay white. And then again brush it off. If you're afraid that while you brush off you're going to make um, a mess, get a piece of paper towel or napkins or Kleenex and just kind of clean it off. And then you would complete that too. So I'm going to show you uh, the next one. You can see I started doing the second layer and then once I have that second layer this is my third layer. So I started, stopped, I had to be careful not to get confused that I'm staying under now, at this point, two layers. Here's the next layer. I start, stop. I see where this one starts and stops underneath both the first layer and the second layer. Okay, and you do this two more times. Or one more time. Let me check the worksheet. Okay, so I know it can be a little confusing. Um, I just want you to really take your time, make sure you complete one layer at a time. Good luck.